Hello, this is Christy. Today I'm going to have a quick look at the type of text you can add in Zara Designer Pro. There are three types of text elements you can add and you will see that all of them help you and give you all the flexibility you want for text and also they remind you of the desktop publishing capabilities of Zara so they allow you to actually create very complex documents and publications in Zara for print, for the web and other uses and you can even produce PDFs from Zara. So um, I used to create complete magazines, flyers, brochures, that kind of thing with a lot of text in Zara. So in this video I want to give you an, a quick introduction of the three types of text elements you can have in Zara. So the first one is a line of text, a simple text line. So let's use the text tool from the toolbar, press that key there or press T and then simply click on the page somewhere and start typing. I'm going to zoom in. So this is my text line. Okay. So this is text line and you can actually continue typing and making this line as long as you like. So if I continue typing, the line will just go on and on and so on. So it will not wrap to a new line. It will not stop. It will just continue as long as you type. In fact, if I zoom out, it's kind of small. And in Zara, there is a shortcut instead of having to go like to websites like uh, lipsum.com to grab filler text, you know that filler text, Laura Mipsum, that kind of thing, then you can actually use a shortcut key in Zara to produce that filler text. So watch this, Control Shift L produces one or two or three phrases or uh, sentences with that filler text. It also adds a new line here. So this line of text actually doesn't have to just go straight on horizontally. You pre if you press enter, it will create a new line. Again, some filler text, a new line, and so on. And you can do as many lines as you like, but they will always go straight and they don't have a right edge. So you can make any line as long as you like. Okay. The second type of text element you can insert in Zara is called a text column. So the way to do a column is you select the tool text tool again. Let me zoom in. And this time I'm not just going to click simply. I'm just going to click and hold down and drag horizontally. Don't drag down, drag horizontally. And let's say that we, we want to stop around here. So notice there is a line now, a dotted line, and there is a red dot on the left and on the right. This is my column of text. And if I keep typing, this line will automatically wrap to a new line and so on and so forth. Now, what this does is it creates a horizontal limit for your column of text. So if I start inserting filler text, you will see that it actually goes down as long as you like, but it stops at the vertical limit there at the um, edge. So your column of text will have a limit horizontally, which of course you can change and the text will reflow. So watch this. I'm changing the horizontal limit of the line and my column changes. I have no limit vertically. So if I, uh, let's say I put new paragraphs here and I keep inserting this filler text, I'm just going to zoom out inserting it, it just goes on and on without having a vertical limit. So you can make a column where you control the width, but if you don't know how tall it's going to end up, 
you can use a column and it'll just enforce the horizontal limit. The third type of text is of course a text box and you may have got a hint earlier about how to do this. Again you choose the text tool and click down and hold and instead of just dragging horizontally you drag also vertically. So you create a text box. This is my text box and now you notice the text box has a dotted line around. Of course that's not going to come out in printing or anything. It's just showing you where the boundaries of this box are. But you can type your text in the text box and as with columns it will cut off at the end of the column and add a new line and there it is it keeps going on and on now what happens when your text reaches the bottom of this box let's add some filler text in here okay there you go I can see the text because I am in edit mode but this text is not going to appear actually it seems it's faded because this text the faded text doesn't fit in the box anymore so I can type or paste as much text as I like the only text that's visible is the one that's black here if I click and go out I can still see it here but it actually won't come out so this is it's showing me that that text doesn't fit in my box and the way to fix that is of course resize your box so you can make your box larger just grab the corners make your box larger to fit your text or another thing you do and you actually do this a lot in desktop publishing if you're producing like a magazine for example in a magazine you basically just have limited space you may have to split your text into different columns so the way to do that is in Zara notice there is this arrow down here and when you hover that arrow pointing down the cursor changes into a link symbol so it looks like two columns with an arrow linking them together what this does is it allows you to define where the next portion of text should go if it reaches the end of that box so if you click on that it can actually give you these options first auto fit to container it's going to auto fit your text actually make it smaller or you can shrink the text on overflow so again it tries to fit it um, automatically always so as you keep typing uh, I'm actually going to paste as you keep typing the text gets smaller and smaller or what you can do is you can actually link it to another text box so I'm going to make another text box here and click back into my initial text box click this arrow and drag so notice there's an arrow now pointing from that arrow in the bottom there to wherever I move my cursor now don't release your mouse unless you get to the top of the other box above the other box where you want your text to flow and release so what this did is it linked these two boxes so that the text in your column here will flow into the second column and this watch ha what happens I'm gonna change the size to about 10 points notice that my text now flows into that one if I make any changes and delete some text it comes and follows me back to the first box and so on for as long as it has space it will keep flowing and this is very nice because if you are creating a magazine page or something and you need to split your text and don't worry about flowing text you can just create these boxes create your columns obviously create them at the same width and everything so you're measuring and then just linking them one to it to the other and then your text is going to flow so now my page looks really like a magazine so I have multiple columns my text is flowing and so on so this is what you can do with the third type of text which is a text box these 
text functions give you a lot of flexibility to create any type of text content you need and layouts, complex magazines, columns, that kind of thing. So I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial. If you like my tutorials, please subscribe to my channel and follow me for other tutorials on Zara, graphic design, desktop publishing, video editing, and so on. See you next time.